All right, guys, well, me and my brother are out here walking this river, hoping to turn up some water snakes, some queen snakes, and whatever else uh, might be hanging out on these branches. But uh, we'll see how it goes. We're just going to get to it, and hopefully we can find some stuff. I'm up here flipping on this uh, ridge up here, and I just flipped my first salamander of the day. It's a little long-tailed salamander. This might be the first one of these guys we've seen this year, but pretty cool. These guys are pretty common here, so we might see some more. I don't flip it. It's next to eating a salamander. Really? A sal Dude, no way. Poor salamander. Dude, that is awesome. Dude, it's so cool. <laughs> Not if you're the salamander. Oh, yeah. We came back to check on this guy to see if he had finished his meal yet, but pretty cool. A little bit further down from where that water snake was, I just flipped our next salamander, and it's a dusky salamander. I've actually never seen a dusky at this spot before. That's most likely what the water snake was eating. Bruh. They're pretty hard to catch, but gonna get this rock back and we'll keep looking for stuff on the next rock over from that last one we just flipped a bigger dusky salamander pretty cool so I flipped another rock and there was two of them there's one right there hey bud and then one right here let's see if I can get them nope nope just right into the leaves but pretty cool super tiny rock wasn't really expecting anything to be under there Really like really wet oh yeah, they love this like damp. Oh, there's one. Hey, bud. Something different. Was it a two line? It's a long tailed. He's showing us his tree climbing abilities. You want to throw him under that rock again? Pretty cool. Another long-tailed. This area here, those. Oh yeah, of lots of salamanders. Well, our next snake of the day, we're still flipping the same like ridge line. Is a very in shed ringneck. Hey, buddy. This is my first ringneck at this spot, but you can see his ring is super dull. His belly's dull. Um, kind of unfortunate, but pretty cool find. Pretty cool though. Just gonna get this guy back under his rock right here. Come on, bud. Go on. There he goes. That's the centipede rope. Mason just flipped another ring neck. Definitely better looking than the other one. You can see his belly's way more vibrant and his ring is nicely colored, but pretty cool. We're just gonna let this guy back under his rock. I was just about to flip this rock and oh he peed all over me but there's a little southern leopard frog where you go but oh there he's going well we just walked up upon this box turtle looks like he's like coming out of that crack or something but what are you doing buddy pretty cool Just gonna leave him there and uh, we'll keep going. We flipped our next ring neck under this giant rock. He's a super tiny guy, but uh, we're just gonna get this guy back pretty quickly. A lot more uh, energetic than the first guy. Interesting because you can see this guy doesn't have any markings on his belly. Uh, I believe the other two of them did have something on their belly, so kind of cool. We're just gonna get this guy back under his giant rock. And we'll keep going. Flipped another dusky salamander, and this is an absolutely tiny one compared to the ones that we've been finding. Look at that guy. Super duper cool, though. All right, well, next salamander of the day is a nice sized slimy salamander. I'm gonna set him down so he doesn't slime me. I gotta put his rock back, but pretty cool. Usually see a lot of young uh, slimy salamanders here, but it's nice to see some big adults. 
Let's get him back. Come on, bud. Pretty cool. We're gonna keep going and hopefully find some more stuff. This is probably the weirdest spot to flip a ring neck. Like, right by the water, dude. Look at that. Nice flip. This guy also has a plain uh, orange belly. Pretty cool. Just gonna let this guy back under his rock. Go under your rock. Pretty cool. We're gonna keep looking for stuff. Hopefully uh, we can track down maybe like a bigger snake or just something a little bit different than ring necks. Mason just flipped a queen snake. He's gone. Right next to the, oh, right next to the queen snake Mason flipped another ring neck. Pretty cool. Lots of ring necks here. Back under your rock. Guys, well we are headed back to the car now. Pretty cool, got to see a decent number of snakes as well as a super ton of salamanders today. So, pretty nice day if you ask me. Um, but yeah, we are wrapping up for the day. I will catch you guys the next time I get out. All right guys, while well, I'm out here flipping some tin and I just flipped something pretty cool under this tin. I'm gonna reflip it for you guys so we can get a look at it. But, uh, look at that. That is another king snake at this spot. Super duper beautiful. And he is spraying poop everywhere. Look at that guy. Super duper beautiful king snake. Some really, really nice yellow colors on the top of him. He's literally sprayed me with so much poop. It was very disgusting and he's covered himself in it. But no problem. Another king snake, super cool. All right, buddy. Back under your tin. Super cool. Very disgusting, but super cool. First snake that I've seen under this tin. Come on, buddy. Hey, look at that. Two ring necks. One and two. There we go. I absolutely dropped that tin on my own arm, but awesome. First ring necks under my tin for the year. Super duper cool. I'm just gonna get these guys back under their tin. Other way, buddy. He'll figure it out. Pretty cool. Let's see about this next piece. Let's see if it has anything. No, a bug in my ear. Doesn't look like it. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today, um, but I will catch you guys in a couple days to keep looking for snakes. All right, guys, I am back out looking for snakes today. I'm super excited about today. It's really, really nice weather. A little bit overcast. It's already 80 degrees and it's only 10 o'clock, so definitely going to be a hot one. But uh, with there being a lot of cloud cover, I'm hoping that it gets snakes moving and or under rocks. So I'm just going to get to looking and hopefully we can track down some cool stuff. And right as I say that, the sun is starting to come out, so we'll see what's what's gonna happen. Oh, no way! No, ow, ow, ow! No way! Don't bite me. There we go, with our first snake of the day. A decent sized racer. That was crazy, dude. Under that nice big rock. Dude, that is awesome. Look at this beautiful guy. He's trying to get up in that tree, buddy. Look at this beautiful racer. First snake of the day, super duper cool. Look at that. Super duper cool. All right, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. Go back under your rock, under your rock. Go under. Super duper cool. I just walked into the king of all spider webs and there's a deer. What's up, buddy? What's up? All right, well, I was poking around this little garbage pile and thinking to myself, 
looks like a pretty awesome looking burrow for snakes. And uh, as I was looking around, I spotted a nice big snake shed at the top of the pile. Here's a little bit of a better look at it. I'm not gonna pull it out because there's just spider webs absolutely everywhere and um, I'd rather not get all spider webby, but also pretty cool funnel web into that uh, part of the car right there. I have no idea what these spiders are called, but their webs are pretty cool. Hey, look at that. That looks like some hatched snake eggs. I really have no idea um, what kind of eggs these would be. Um, my guess would be racer, but super duper cool. Really, really giant clutch. Um, and good to see that most of them hatched. I'm just going to uh, set this rock back and keep going. Super duper cool. Oh, look at that. Little earth snake. Actually a very big earth snake. One of the chunkiest earth snakes I've seen. I was wondering how long it would take before we found one of these guys. I think I've uh, just about found one of these guys every single time I've been to this spot, so. Super cool. Um, super glad to see this girl under my tin, um, but I'm just going to get her back and uh, let her keep chilling. And we'll keep flipping. Super duper cool. If you've been watching the channel for a couple months, uh, every time we come out here, uh, we move a couple pieces of tin from the pile and spread them out here. So today I've got one piece over there and then couple pieces here um, so hopefully next time we get out here we'll be able to flip some snakes here and uh, just wanted to share that with you guys all right how do I want to do this there's a snake under there it's a king snake I think I'm pretty sure that's a king snake. Come here, buddy. Come here. Don't poop on me. Let's see. Come on out. Come here. There we go. Don't bite me now. Look at that. Beauty, too. Very, very black and shiny. What a great snake, dude. That is a giant king snake. Huge, dude. Look at that. That is insane. Probably three and a half feet long, if I had to guess. All right, well, I'm just going to let him back under his piece. No, buddy, there you go. Super duper cool, dude. Um, doesn't get much better than that. Giant king snake. Whew, that was pretty incredible, guys. Uh, one of the biggest, if not the biggest king snakes I've found, uh, at least at this spot. Um, crazy stuff. Oh my goodness, dude. That thing was so fast. All right, guys. Well, it is up to 85 degrees. Uh, the sun is beating down, and I just ran out of water. So I think I'm going to start heading back. Um, we still have a couple chances to see some more stuff, but it is getting hot, hot, hot. A lot hotter than Michigan. Milk, 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 milk. No way, no way. Oh, dude, let's 
go. Let's go. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, it's so clean looking. Oh, let's go. Let's go, dude. Dude, my heart is pounding. That is awesome. My lens is literally fogging up either from the just the humidity or from the sweat coming off me. It is so, so hot out here. And this guy was under a pretty thick, big rock, so he he's not actually super toasty, but dude, that is insane. Hey, buddy. Dude, what a great way to end off the day. All right, well, milk snakes are one of the hardest snakes to just let go. I, I literally could spend all day just hanging out with this guy, but uh, I'm just gonna get him back under his rock and uh, we will keep going. Super duper cool. This is only the second milk snake, I believe, that I found at this spot. So, super duper cool. Got some crazy, crazy looking pattern right there. Super duper cool, super unique uh, milk snake. Thank you so much for making my day. Back under your rock. Back under, go on, go on. The last milk snake had trouble getting under this rock too. There you go, oh, go on. Oh, you're going under that one now. All right, well, super duper cool, dude. I could not have asked for a better snake at this spot other than a rattlesnake. I don't know how long this guy's gonna sit here, but I'm pretty close to him and he haven't moved, hasn't moved yet. Oh, there he goes. There's actually a couple more basking on these rocks. Lots and lots and lots of lizards today. Guys, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned because I am planning on going out this weekend to look for timber rattlesnakes and copperheads and some other stuff that we haven't seen on the channel yet. So super duper excited for that. Um, so definitely stay tuned, but I will see you guys then. Finally, finally water. Oh, I've missed you.